as part of the Shoeless Joe Jackson Museum and Baseball Library, we're interested in getting Joe Jackson back into the good graces of baseball and perhaps the Hall of Fame, just so we could share this very romantic story about an iconic figure in baseball history. Joe Jackson, in fact, was part of the Black Sox scandal. He knew about the scandal. He did take the money. He never participated in any meeting, in any planning of the scandal, but he was aware of it. I could also tell you that because of Joe's participation in the World Series with wonderful stats, stats that to the, to the day are remain fabulous. He hit 375. He did not have one error in 30 chances in the outfield. He threw a runner out at home plate. Bottom picture is a picture of Brandon Mill, the mill where Joe learned how to, where Joe worked, and the baseball field where he learned how to play. This mill is still in existence today. It now serves as apartments, and actually, his great, great, great niece has an apartment living at Brandon Mills today. So it's still in existence, and that's wonderful. I'm holding a replica of Bat Black Betsy, Joe Jackson's favorite bat of all time. It is to the exact specifications. It's a black barrel with a light colored finish. It's a 38 and a quarter inch ounce bat. It's got a handle that's bigger than, this, than a, uh, a telephone pole. I could never get my hands around it to hit it, but that's why I'm not Joe Jackson. Hall of Fame or not, Joe Jackson is somebody that should never be forgotten, and part of our mission is to make sure that that happens.